Hi, I'm Sam Lowe, Golf Performance Coach, and this is the Science of Golf Performance with Par for Success. So today I'm going to talk about another rotary center, another point of mobility, um, and that's going to be the thoracic area, the part, middle part of the back, working my way up and towards the shoulders, about that middle area. Now we've got a, some, a bunch of different ways to work on this, and what is, what's the value of this? Well, in my golf swing, <clears throat> I want to be able to rotate on the center, bringing, if I've got my hips where they need to be, my shoulders are in pretty good shape, if I can't rotate back and forth on that center, I'm going to have some trouble. I need to be able to not only create some mobility and so, some fluidity of movement, but I need to be able to generate some power as well. And so good thoracic mobility, good thoracic rotation is a great way to go about doing that. So what I'm going to show you today are three real simple ways to go about creating a little bit more mobility and range of motion in that area. These are all things that can be done uh, at home, in the office, maybe even on the golf course before you get started in your round. And they require little to no equipment across all three movements. So the first one, it's very simple. Um, I come from uh, Michigan, so uh, we call this one the moose antler. And I'm just gonna position myself Hands and knees, and my, in this case, my left hand is gonna go up on the back of my head here. That's gonna create my moose antler. I'm simply gonna rotate that left elbow down towards the center of my body, rotating on the middle of my back, and then bringing the elbow back out again. Just about full range of motion, as wide open as I can get it, and simply repeating back and forth back and forth. Let's do about 10 reps on one side, and then I'm simply gonna switch. Put the other antler on there, and then rotate in the other direction. Again, that one's called a moose antler. That's a real good start <clears throat> to working thoracic mobility. And speaking of mobility, we've got a full mobility assessment. It's in the link below. If you take a look at the description, it'll be right down there for you. It's a four part assessment. If it doesn't turn out quite the way that you hope it might, uh, feel free to give us a call here at Par for Success. We'll walk you through a strategy session and see if we can help you find some good ways to increase your golf swing, your swing distance, and play pain free. Back at this process here, we're gonna work into our next movement. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna lie back here on the floor All the way down. Feet are going to spread out a little bit, and this one's called a rolling starfish. My arms are going to go out, and I'm just going to reach one arm up, my right one in this case, reach for the ceiling, and then I'm going to rotate over to touch one hand to the other, right hand on top of left hand. Bring that same hand back and reach. Now, I'm going to reach with the left hand, and you'll see I'm trying real hard to keep my hips back here in contact with the ground as I rotate. And that's really the secret to this movement, is keeping the hips in contact with the ground as I rotate back and forth. Breathing your way through this exercise too while you're at it. So breath in, blow it out as I bring the other hand out. Just regulate your breathing, take your time, easing your way through this movement. And again, this one is called the rolling starfish. Back and forth. I got one more for you here. This one's gonna involve this foam roller here. Now, I say equipment oriented, foam roller works. Um, we can use a pillow at home. <clears throat> we can use a, um, even our golf bag if I happen to be on the golf course. Um, so a bunch of different options here for this particular movement. But I'm gonna take this foam roller, I'm gonna lie down on the floor, basically on my side Put my right leg in this case over the top of the foam roller. My right hand's gonna go on my head here and I'm just gonna rotate out. And again, I like to breathe my way through an exercise. So breath in as I rotate the elbow back. Breath out as I open up and bring the elbow back to the right side. Breath in. Breath out and get yourself a little bit of a hold here. And as I do this, if I can gain a little ground with that movement, 
basically meaning extending that range of motion. Don't need to force things. I can maybe even put a hand here to help open that up a little bit more. Good, again, I'm not looking for pain. I'm looking for comfort and I'm looking to stretch this out. Slowly but surely. Good stuff. Again, about eight or 10 reps on one side, eight or 10 reps on the other. Should be a real good start to creating a lot more mobility in that thoracic area. So thanks for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like below, comment, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.